This is lesson 31 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. In this lesson, we are using bracket notation to find the first character in a string. And it tells us, let me try to zoom this out, right? It tells us bracket notation is a way to get a character at a specific index within a string. Most modern programming languages don't start counting at one like humans do. They start at zero. This is referred to as zero-based indexing. For example, the character at index zero in the word Charles is C. So if variable first name is assigned Charles, you can get the value of the first letter of the string by using first name and then zero in brackets. And all this is doing is it's just going, the zero represents the first part of Charles or the first character. If we wanted to get the second character, we would put a one here. If we wanted to get the third character, we would put a two here. And again, that's because we start counting at zero in JavaScript. So instructions use bracket notation to find the first character in the last name variable and assign it to first letter of last name. Hint, try looking at the first letter of first name variable if you get stuck. Shouldn't get stuck, but we can look at their example just to see what's going on. So here they have first letter of first name and they assign it an empty string here they have variable first name and assign it the string of ada we only want the first character of ada and we want to assign it into our empty string they do that by first name and then zero inside of brackets the zero inside of brackets is just saying I want the first character because computers start counting at zero. The zero index would be the first in the first index. And then again, you just keep going on. If you want D, you would put a one here and it would return what is that in index one and it would be the D. So for our part, we want to do basically the same thing. They have first letter of last name and it's an empty string. And they have variable last name that has Lovelace. We want to get the L. And again, it's in position 0. So, only change code below this line. We would just add here 0. And this is going to the variable last name. It's finding this L that's in the 0 index. And it's assigning it to the first letter of last name. So, this goes from being an empty string to um, having an, a letter L. And we could run a test and see this, and surely enough, boom shakalaka. And our console here has an L.